What's going on YouTube? Hey, I just got unloaded. Uh, I'm in North Carolina. Um, I unloaded three skidded uh, cores out to the sky. I forgot to show them. So, I'm at the Love Truck Stop off of uh, I-81 exit 71. Uh, waiting to get another load. I've been waiting about how long have I been waiting? Home. Messaging. You have 8 hours and 0 minutes of remaining drive time. 38 minutes, so let's we'll see how much long it's going to take to get a load uh, headed back toward Arkansas. Um, other than everything's going pretty good, guys. Hey, i give you a little update uh, when I get the load. Uh, talk to you guys later on. Hey, I got parked here in Knoxville at the uh, pallet off of exit 263. Um, I had about another, a little bit over an hour to drive though, but I had drove 450 miles. And the thing about trucking now is that it's hard to find parking. So if I go to a smaller truck lot in the evening times, I may not get no parking. I may not be able to find no parking. I don't want to stay in no rest area tonight. So anyway, um, uh, I made it to the fly jacket, get something decent to eat, take a shower. So those are the decisions you have to make in the evening time uh, before you start driving in the morning where you want to where you want to stay at. So this is what I picked before I started driving this morning, uh, uh, Knoxville. So, uh, uh, but the thing tomorrow, my former time is nothing to like six eighteen hundred six o'clock. They don't start. To, I unload to 8 o'clock in the morning so I'm about to drive I got to drive another like 453 miles tomorrow is it 400 close, we're close to 400 miles tomorrow um, I got a lot of studying to do so uh, I'll probably do a little stay late here at, at the uh, pallet get around about like 11 o'clock and start driving to uh, Paragou, Arkansas I'm coming out of North, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So let me show you the load I picked up. What I got now, they're going to make rail, railroad spikes with these right here. So they're going to stamp them, cut them, and stamp them. So what you see right here, this is what they use for rail, uh, putting down railroad uh, t uh, rail, rail rails with into the uh, into the uh, wooden those wooden things they put them into so I got one two three four five five bundles now, I think on the custom we usually at Maverick we usually we use all chains on steel products but the customer does not want um, steel on, on these spikes right here so they want straps so you have to do what the customer wants you to do and 
nothing usually you hardly ever see my loads I have a overhang about a uh, one two about three foot overhang I got I got a foot on the front let me show you the on the front I got one foot on the front. So you really gotta be careful when you're making a tight turn because usually you don't have that one this the product sticking off the uh off the front of the trailer so you can you can bend your uh utility box uh headache rack. Wow. Look what I just found out just walking around the truck. My uh, my stitches thing right here broke. Wow! So I got a rig. You can't. You get a ticket for that touching the um, catwalk. So I got to rig this up. I got to rig up something tonight, and I get it fixed. Um, I'll try to bend this again if I can. Um, I'll buy something to um, on this clip so I can uh, secure this um, my uh, airlines and electrical line for not touching the catwalk. That's an automatic ticket if it's touching it. No matter what you can say, it just happened, so it'll still be your fault. So anyway, hey, let me show you the load for standing up. This is the load. Right here. So anyway, hey guys. Hey, I'm gonna walk in and get something to eat at Denny's and uh come on back and uh do a little studying. Um boom. Talk to y'all guys later on tonight. Take take it easy.